Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my skincare routine. So I'm about to do my morning skincare. If you guys missed my last video of what has been helping clear my skin as, as like supplements go, then definitely go check out that video if you're interested in healing your skin from like the inside as well. Skincare also plays a really big part in acne and so I wanted to go through everything. I'm going to demonstrate my morning skincare but my evening skincare I might just like talk about because that switches every other day ish. So I figured I would just go through that. One of the things that I have really tried to commit to is using a clean towel every single time I dry my face after I wash it morning and night and so i got these um cloths on amazon they're super super soft like a while back and i just make sure to wash them it's about like once a week because it comes with so many but morning and night you know you're gonna use 14 towels a week so anyway i've made sure to do that i also try to switch out my pillowcase every like three or four days if I remember. Um, usually I'm trying to switch my sheets out pretty often anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Have I been perfect with it? No, but that's okay. So skincare, I have tried to simplify my skincare for the most part. I'm gonna go through my morning skincare routine. In the morning, this is what I wash my face with. I've used this for years now, CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. So I'm not too strict about it, but I wash my face. So I just work this in. So I just pat off my face dry with that. And then I'll put this in the hamper so it doesn't get used again. Now, my morning skincare routine is literally three products. It is the Bare Face Toning Pads 2 by Jordan Harper. I've used these for a very long time. And I basically use these twice a day, um, morning and night, depending on what I use for my nighttime skincare routine that night, which you will learn about in a minute. So I go all over the face. Should I actually start bringing these down to my neck too? And then I go in with a vitamin C serum. So I'm not picky when it comes to vitamin C serums. I'm not someone who yet is going to spend a ton of money on vitamin C because I don't, I don't find it that important for my skincare right now. I'm mainly focusing on anti-acne and yes, evening out my skin tone is definitely a priority, but that is not as big for me to spend a ton of money on vitamin C. So I use this e.l.f. one right now. I've used ones from Amazon. Like I'm not, I'm not too picky as long as I have some sort of vitamin C in my life. Now, one thing I have switched to doing, which this might change in the like winter months and stuff like that because I get, you know, might get dry um, or drier. I'm only using a sunscreen, okay? And honestly, the last two months, I've gotten away from using this e.l.f. Um, Woe Glow Sunscreen. I don't think it was breaking me out, but I know for a fact that this one was not. And so I'm like, why not just stick with this? This is higher SPF, it's SPF 30, or 50. That was SPF 30. And I'm like, I don't need the glowiness, who cares? So I use one pump of that and that's my moisturizer. So it's like four steps, wash the face, toning pads, vitamin C serum, and then sunscreen. And make sure you go down your neck and that boys and girls, is my morning skincare. Very simple, no fusses. Oh, also, lash serum. But that has nothing to do with my acne. That's just uh, wanting longer lashes. But I will link it for you guys because it really does work and it's 20 bucks on Amazon and it lasts for months. So as far as nighttime goes, which maybe I'll show you little clips of me applying things but like I said I need to explain the difference and stuff and at night to be honest I never want to film just because I'm tired from the day you know and I just want to relax the other thing is why I might not film it so I do a lot of my like cleansing in the shower most days because I like to double cleanse that is one thing if you have acne make sure at nighttime you're double cleansing even if you only wear sunscreen for the day double cleanse okay so 
This is my new favorite cleansing balm ever, you guys. Better than the e.l.f. one. Better than, what was that pink jar? I don't remember. But this one only has like 10 ingredients. My favorite part about it is it leaves no residue. I don't have to use a towel to like wipe it off or anything. It comes off clean with water. It looks like a normal cleansing balm. I've had this one for a few months now and, you know, still going strong with it. Still have a lot of product left. I use about a nickel to a quarter size amount, depending on if I'm wearing makeup or not. Lather it in on dry hands, dry face, and then it'll turn to like an oil and then you rinse it off. It literally is so, so good. Doesn't break me out. Takes off all makeup amazingly. Now, after that, I still use Panoxyl and I have been religiously using this at night for longer periods of time. If you have cystic acne, I highly recommend, or even acne in general, using Panoxyl and working your way up to like leaving it on the skin for multiple minutes at a time, almost like a face mask. I heard this from Dr. Dr. Dre, as I think is her last name. Um, she's a dermatologist on YouTube and she would say to use it almost like a face mask. Leave it on for up to five minutes in the shower. And I try to do this every night. Do I miss nights? Yes, because sometimes I don't shower at night and honestly using Panoxyl at the sink is really annoying because it can bleach all your clothes. That's why I have white towels because it bleaches all my towels and everything. Honestly, though, it doesn't bleach these, which is interesting. I just, I just thought of that. These have never been bleached from it. But, so I leave this on as long as possible. I'll put this on early on in my showering routine and let it sit. So a few days a week, um, or if I just remember, I will use the Foreo, Foreo, whatever it's called, just to get into my pores. I have issues with clogged pores and stuff, which I'll talk about in a second. So this does really help. I use it at least a few times a week, if not every night, just depending on how my skin feels, if it's feeling clogged, feeling like it needs an extra exfoliant, then I'll use this. But I do use chemical exfoliants, obviously, to help with that as well. Now, on the nights that I'm using my tretinoin, okay, I'll cleanse with this, and then I'll go in with Tony Peds 2. And these are a lot of active ingredients, you guys. A lot of exfoliants and that kind of thing. And I know this, but my skin reacts well to it. I don't get super dry. I don't get super irritated. And that's just because my skin has worked its way up to it. Try a few of these products. If your skin is not very sensitive, if it is still acne prone, it's not clearing up, you can add more things on. But I'm just letting you know, this is a lot of active ingredients. Benzoyl peroxide face wash. And then I go in with Tony Pads 2 again. Same thing as in the morning. And then I go in with my Tretinoin 0 0.025%, just a pea size amount all over the face after the toning pad. And then I go in with the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This stuff is top notch. And again, I might have to change this up in the winter depending on how my skin is reacting. But right now, all I need is this lotion. Now, I used to use rosehip seed oil for my scarring and all that kind of stuff. I've since stopped using it. I still swear by this for acne scars. It gets rid of them so well, but since I am so prone to clogged pores, I was like, you know what? I don't think it's making me break out like crazy, but it might be clogging my pores. So I did stop using it. This is also amazing if you wanna use it on your body, mix in with your lotion. I love doing that in the winter time when my skin is really dry. Um, it just is so good for your skin. But if you are really prone to clogged pores, you might want to stray away from it. I've had clear skin while using it, but I've always struggled with clogged pores. So I figured why not eliminate it if I can. Because um, I am using chemical exfoliants and stuff to help with the scarring and everything. So some of the days of the week, I do this routine every other day. Okay, so one day I'll use the toning pads with the tretinoin. And then the other days, so every other day of that, I use Glow Peel Pads by Jordan Harper's, uh, or by Bareface by Jordan Harper. 
So glow peel pads are a chemical exfoliant um, as well with like glycolic acid and stuff. And she even did a reel recently about the importance of using glycolic acid with um, tretinoin and like how it like does, I don't know, anti-aging things to the skin. But my reasoning for liking this so much is it's like a deeper exfoliant. And since using these almost every other day, um, I try to use them every other day. Sometimes if, depending if my skin is a little more sensitive, I'll do two days of this and then do another day of this. My skin since doing this though has had way less clogged pores. Um, so if you are someone who has severe acne, clogged pores, that kind of stuff, maybe try doing that as well. Um, it, this is just what's working for me. Since I did every other day of the, this regimen, it's been working really well. So on the days I do glow peel pads, all I do is the same benzoyl peroxide, glow peel pad, and then moisturize. That's it. So it's very simple. Every day, like morning skincare and night skincare is like four steps. It's a uh, usually a cleanser in the morning. It's toning pads, then vitamin C moisturizer, AKA sunscreen. In the evening, it is cleanser. Well, I guess it's double cleanse. So the cleansing balm, cleanser, then glow peel pads, moisturizer. On the other days, it is um, cleansing balm, then it's cleanser, and then toning pads, tretinoin, and moisturizer. So I've been trying to keep it simple do what my skin reacts well to. I'm not changing things up like crazy because I know my skin doesn't like it. Making sure I'm using a new fresh towel every single time I wash my face. And this is what my skin is looking like. Obviously there's still scarring, but it's so much clearer and I'm so happy with it. So I hope you guys like the video. I will link everything I can down below. This is a prescription, the tretinoin. So you'll have to get that from a dermatologist or your doctor, but everything else I can link for you guys. And it's honestly a pretty inexpensive um, routine. The two most expensive things are the toning pads and the glow peel pads, but they are worth it you guys they're so good i love jordan harper's stuff um bare face line it's so good so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope that cleared anything up if you've been wondering what i've been doing skincare wise thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the video very very soon bye guys